therefore give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth forever. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O Lord God, O great hosts, O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is the great God, and the great King of all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. Thus he is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. <coughs> O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. <clears throat> Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world, and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord God, who be loved, O come, let us worship. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man goeth about to devour me. He is daily fighting and troubling me. My enemies are daily at hand to swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O the most high Nevertheless, though I am sometimes afraid, yet put I my trust in thee. I will praise God because of his word. I have put my trust in God, and will not fear what flesh can do unto me. They dearly mistake my word. And all they, that they imagine is to do me evil. They hold all together and keep themselves close, and mark my steps when they lay wait for my soul. Shall they escape for their wickedness? Thou, O God, in thy displeasure shalt cast me down. Thou tellest my wanderings, put my tears into thy bottle. Are not these things noted in thy book? When so 
rise up to hear the voice of the charmer. Charm ye never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouths. Strike the jawbones of the lions, O Lord. Let them fall away like water that runneth a pace. When they shoot their arrows, let them be rooted out. Like wax that is melted, shall they be taken away. Fire hath fallen upon them, and they saw not the sun. Forever your pots be made hot with thorns. He shall take them away with a whirlwind, <coughs> the green and the burning alike. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his footsteps in the blood of the ungodly. So that a man shall say, Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Doubtless there is a God that judges the earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here begin at the sixth book of the book of Daniel. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault, forasmuch as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. <clears throat> then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as he did aforetime. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Hast thou not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased at himself and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him, 
and he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and Persians is, that no decree nor statute which the king establisheth may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel, and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent his angel, and hath shut the lions' mouths, that they had not hurt me, for as much as before him innocence he was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and, command, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his God. Here in the, the first lesson. <clears throat> we praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth will worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry out, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim, continually to cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thy adorable true and only son, also the holy God's the comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou lookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou stoodest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever a world without end. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, that thy mercy 
mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. Here we get it, the 14th verse of the 8th chapter of the Epistle of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Romans. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For as for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own Son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, brother, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Here endeth the second lesson.
hearts with it and thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, for as much as without thee we are not able to please thee, let the operation of thy mercy be prayed thee in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O Lord, we beseech thee, let the intercession of our blessed Abbot Kenneth commend us unto thee, that we who have no power of ourselves to help ourselves may by his advocacy find favor in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without him. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run in any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by thy governance may be righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Defend us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all perils of mind and body. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mary, the ever virgin mother of God, of blessed Joseph, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, of blessed Gregory and of all thy saints, graciously bestow upon us both peace and safety, that all adversity and error being done away, thy church may serve thee in untroubled freedom. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. 
resurrected, rule our Lord. Through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, we beseech thee, let the intercession of thy blessed Abbot commend us unto thee. That those things which for our own merits we cannot ask, which we may through his advocacy obtain. Defend us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all perils of mind and body. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mary, the ever virgin mother of God, of blessed Joseph, of thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, of blessed Gregory and of all thy saints, graciously bestow upon us both peace and safety. Let all adversity and error being done away, thy church we serve thee in untroubled freedom. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The lesson from the epistle of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. I was glad when they said unto me, We will go into the house of the Lord. Go unto thine house. 
and he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Praise of these men 
for their friend. Jesus said, Be of good cheer, take courage, your sins are forgiven. What a strange thing to say to a sick person. What was Christ saying? We believe in healing of body and healing of spirit. Sometimes we are sick in our bodies and we need physical healing. Then at times we are sick in our thoughts and feelings, our hearts and souls. At times the line between physical and spiritual sickness is blurred. Whatever the need, only God can grant the healing, whether it comes about by the ministration of doctors and nurses, medication, simple rest and recuperation, confession, counseling, or by some more dramatic means. God, we believe, is the source of all life and the source of all health. All healing is a gift from God. The man that day was paralyzed. We can be paralyzed in our bodies or paralyzed to say or do what is right. God offers healing and forgiveness. Of our Gospel reading today, St. Ambrose of Milan in the 4th century said, in this encounter, Christ gives the complete likeness of the resurrection. Healing wounds of mind and body, he forgives the sins of souls and makes an end of the infirmity of the flesh. This is to cure the whole man. And though it is a great thing to forgive men their sins, nevertheless, it is a much more divine work to give resurrection to their bodies, because the Lord himself is the resurrection. The man is bidden not only to take up his bed, but also to return to his house. That is, he is told to return to paradise for paradise is man's true home. The promise of sharing in Christ's resurrected life means that God will heal our wounds of mind and body so that we may live with him, that we may live as we were meant to be. That day in Capernaum, no one could see the signs of inner healing that came from Jesus' forgiveness and as an answer to the prayers of faith. But the physical healing that day was an outward sign of what happened in the man's heart. The people saw this, and they praised God for what he had done. God heard the prayers of the man's friend and gave him what was needed, both forgiveness and healing. When we are concerned for someone in need, or if we ourselves are in need, we must bring this need to God in prayer and trust that God will answer in the way that is best, remembering that inner healing, spiritual healing, Healing of heart and soul is of far greater ultimate importance. Many of the fathers of the church point out that this story of healing began by Jesus getting into a boat. And the boat is typically a symbolic of the church. Healing and forgiveness both come to us through life in the church especially in the Holy Mysteries, in the medicine of Holy Communion, in anointing with holy oil in unction, in sacramental confession where we bring our own spiritual illnesses to God for forgiveness and for healing, and through hearing Holy Scripture, 
hearing the witness of those who have gone before us and supporting one another along the way. All of these elements of life in the church work toward a life of health and wholeness. The church even helps us prepare for a good death, for we choose the life we will live forever by the life we live now. If we choose life, if we choose to live with God, all that is needed is offered to us through life in the church. When we repent and return to God, we too hear these joy-filled words. Be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven. Rise and return to your true home. When someone is in need, we must bring them to Christ. Whether we physically bring them into the church or we bring them to God in our prayers, here we find wondrous things. Here we find life and health, nourishment and guidance. Here we praise God for the many blessings he gives to us. We give thanks for the healing and forgiveness that come only from God. May we have courage and wisdom and faith to seek these beautiful gifts. And then may we have enough compassion in our hearts to help others find them as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds. God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten of me, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us did for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost, of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us, under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitting on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism, for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come.
the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit, let us pray. Moses consecrated an altar unto the Lord, offering burnt offerings upon it, and sacrificing peace offerings. And he made an evening sacrifice for a sweet smelling savor unto the Lord God in the sight of the children of Israel.
that this sacrifice which we offer and present upon thy holy altar may be profitable unto us for our salvation. Graciously hear us, O God, our Savior, and by the power of this sacrament defend us from all enemies of mind and body, granting us grace in this world and glory in that which is to come. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, who hath all ages of ages. Amen.
to bring her to unity and to guide her throughout the world. Likewise, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for Bishop John, for the President of these United States, and for all Orthodox believers who hold the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and all here present whose faith and devotion are known unto thee, for whom we offer, or who offer to thee, this sacrifice of praise for themselves and those belonging to them, for the salvation of their souls, for their health and welfare, and who pay their vows to thee, the eternal, living, and true God, especially for me, the Arch Prince Frederick, Cousin, the next is Gianna, Kathleen, and Daniel. In communion with and venerating first the memory of the glorious and ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, and also of thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Of Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and of all thy saints, through whose prayers grant that in all things we may be guarded by the help of thy protection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We therefore pray thee, O Lord, mercifully to accept this offering of our service and that of all thy family to order our days in thy peace, to deliver us from eternal damnation, and to number us in the flock of thy elect, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Which offering we beseech thee, O God, to bless, consecrate, approve, make worthy and acceptable in every way, that it may become for us the body and blood of thy most beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through the day before he suffered, took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God his Almighty Father, giving thanks unto thee, he blessed, prayed, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. like manner, after he had stopped taking also this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands. Again giving thanks unto thee, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this. For this is the cup of my blood, of the new and eternal testament, the mystery of faith, which shall be shed for you and for me unto the remission of sin. As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord, we thy servants, as also thy holy people, Calling to mind the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, his resurrection from the dead and glorious ascension into heaven, offer unto thy most excellent majesty with thy gifts bestowed upon us a pure host, a holy host, a spotless host, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Upon which thou safe to look with a favorable and serene countenance and to accept them as thou art graciously pleased to accept the gifts of thy just son Abel, and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto me, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. And we beseech thee, O Lord, to send down thy Holy Spirit upon these offerings, that he would make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup, 
the precious blood of thy Son, our yes. Lord Jesus Christ, and keeping them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We humbly beseech the Almighty God to command that these things be borne by the hands of thy holy angel to thy altar on high, into the presence of thy divine majesty, that so many of us they shall partake at this altar of the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be filled with all heavenly benedictions through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Be mindful also, O Lord, of thy servants who are gone before us with the sign of faith, and who rest in the sleep of peace, especially the Abbot James, Pepper, Joan, Vincent, James, and Devon. Mm -hmm. To them, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, grant we pray thee a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Blessed are your also thy servants, confiding in the multitude of thy mercies. Grant somewhat in partnership with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucia, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, into whose company we pray thee of thy mercy to admit us not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord, by whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create, sanctify, quicken, bless, and bestow upon us all these good things. For by him, and with him, and in him is to be, God the Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory, Throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by saving precepts and following by divine institutions, we presume to say, Our Father, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takest away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I believe the Lord, and I confess. And that thou art true in thy heart, and so thou art in thy power, who made his time into the world to save sinners, out of the mind of the And I believe that this is true in thy own immaculate body, and that this is true in thy own precious life. Wherefore I pray thee, have a mercy upon me, and have forgiven my transgressions, but will the voluntary and involuntary, of the word and the deed, of the knowledge of the end.
Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. We render thanks unto thee, O Lord, for that thou hast quickened us with thy heavenly gifts, humbly beseeching thy mercy, that thou wouldst make us worthy partakers of the same. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, Ever one God, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Let thy sacrament, O Lord, which we have now received, and the prayers of the blessed Abbot Kenneth, effectually defend us. Let me be able to imitate the example of his conversations and receive the succor of his intercession. We beseech thee, O Lord, that the gift now offered in this divine sacrament may cleanse and defend us, that at the intercession of blessed Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, of blessed Gregory, and of all the saints, it may set us free from every perverse way and deliver us from all adversity. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with thy spirit. Light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. 
He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in our hour of death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in our hour of death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and love was among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and the heart of death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be the glory of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour forth thy grace in our hearts. But as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be watered with the glory of his resurrection. Through the same, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us sing the song of the three children, which they sang as they blessed the Lord in the furnace of fire. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All thy works praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints give thanks unto thee. O let the saints be joyful in glory, let them rejoice in their beds. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give the praise. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee, let us pray. Yes. O God, who didst to the three children of slaves the flames of fire, mercifully grant that the flames of sin may not kindle upon us thy servants. Strengthen us, O Lord, in all our doings with all thy, thy most gracious favor, and further us with thy continual help, that in all our works be done, continue, and in the doing of oh, yeah, yeah. by thy holy name, and finally by thy mercy appear to lasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to thee. That with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 